it's Sarah and welcome fellow fire signs. Are you ready for the new moon in Capricorn on January the 11th? Well, this is going to be strongly felt by the fire signs and I didn't want you to miss this opportunity. Let's do this. Let's look at why this is so important for the fire signs. If you are an Aries, Leo, Sag, or have a lot of fire in your chart, then pay special attention to this new moon. With this grounded new moon, we have a great chance to create order and stability in our lives and build a solid plan or strategy that will allow us to rock 2024. We can use this wise and determined energy from Capricorn to manifest and prepare for the future. We will be tapping into a more mature and grounded approach that will make goal setting much easier. Over the next two weeks, we have a more adult approach to setting boundaries as well, which will allow us to um, detach some from the reoccurring drama and chaos or troublemaking, troublesome people around us too, making it possible for us to regain control and move away from petty people and move away from what doesn't align with the new transformed us. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, I'm in control of my life. You are. Don't get me wrong. You are. But you're being influenced by this drama because you've probably let some personal boundaries slide because it just happens. It happens to all of us. So this energy will give you the push you need to get this back in order. This new moon is also linked to the full wolf moon coming up in Leo. On Thursday, January the 25th, 2024, the wolf moon will peak and sun ruled Leo. And this heart-centered fire sign will help us also look at who is stirring up the drama or the intense feelings or the chaos and move away from them. Because we're in the middle of a transformation. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for petty squabbles, backstabbing, gossiping, or drama. And you'll have lessons around these topics or these themes probably, well, you've probably had them for the last few months, actually. And the Capricorn New Moon will highlight fears and securities limiting your potential as well as who needs to go. It's a lot between the New Moon and the Full Moon. But we can use this energy to be more compassionate with ourselves and set goals for the future and make room for success and adventure. To really stay inspired and stay positive is the key. And we will be inspired to achieve everything in 2024. This new moon is a big jumping off point for us. You'll need to get clear on what you want and then stay motivated, especially Aries. You have so much going on right now and it's good stuff. Don't get me wrong, but it's just a lot. And so it's really easy for you to lose focus. And also Aries, it's real important not to let people from the past hold you back with negativity. Leo can tap into this new moon for financial abundance. This is your time to manifest true wealth and stability. Align your energy with what you desire, not your fears, not your regrets, not that uncertainty, but with the positive energy around what you really truly want. And you'll soon be reaping major rewards. 2024 is going to be a magical year of milestones for Leo natives. Sag is all about relaxing the drama and taking hold of the direction of their life. And to do this, you must remain authentic and not let others direct your life path. What you wanted six months ago or a year ago, you probably don't want anymore, Sagittarius, because you're changing and transforming like we all are. To remain authentic and not let other people direct your, your life path sounds simple, but it's not because, like I say, this is what you wanted in the past, but now you no longer want that. And that's okay. That's part of us growing and evolving. Just take control back. The January-May astrology for Sag is up if you haven't seen it yet. Um, I'll link it below. The empowering energy of this new moon in Capricorn will be the grounding force that the fire signs need, and it will assist us in getting focused and motivated to succeed in 2024. So it's a lot, but we got this. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this mini reading. If you did, let me know in the comment section below, and also let me know your sign. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Reiki blessings!